watching AEP TV right here in the house. Evolving Pythons, my brother Jared. Jared, big homie. Him. He's here, lives here in LA. And then the man himself, Miguel from AEP. So we're here looking at some crazy babies you've know, made today. Yes. Um, or this this year. You see, he's already made a bunch and you've sold a ton too. Sold. Right? We've all sold over 200 babies. Man, too bad, yeah. the, too bad the ball python market's dead, you know? I know, it's so crazy. It could be, you know? I know, I wish, dude, if this is dead, <laughs> I can you imagine when it's doing really good? But the cool thing is, is that for the last two weeks in a row, we have featured um, Batman combos on the vlog. So we've done the special one yesterday, um, well, yesterday, we were filming it. And the other one was a Hurricane Batman. So, and the Pinstripe Hurricane Batman. So crazy stuff. Yeah. And it's just so cool, the Batman platform kind of just giving with crazy neat things. But this guy here has hatched a brand new one that we've never seen and it is phenomenal and we want to feature that in the vlog. So let me know if it's too much Batman stuff for you guys. Dude, um, I don't think it's going to be too much Batman stuff. It's the best. They're the greatest. Thing. Okay. So let's check those out. We won't even tell you what they are until we, until we show them to you. Let's look at them. Let's see real quick. So these have all just shut out. Yeah. So right here we have a Fire Batman. Then right here we have a Cypress Batman, correct? Right. Okay. And then we get this one. That has the star, right? all of them. Now this is beyond anything I've ever made. This is the Fire Cypress Batman. Of course, it's not gonna. And yeah, this man. is the only boy in the clutch, you said? Yeah, the only what boy in the whole clutch. That looks like that looks truly like a cheetah. Yeah. I love Jeez. this thing, man. That is so cool. It's cool whenever you can add pattern to something that's already so crazy pattern and keep the contrast and that head is just wild. Then we have, what would it be, the spot nose right here, right? Fire. So let me just... The spot nose, cypress clown. Look how red orange those heads are across the board. And then we have the cypress, I mean the cypress leopard fire clown. Dude, cypress clowns have became one of my favorite combos, mm -hmm. like in the whole, like all the ball pythons that have been hatching this year, clowns. Look at the variety, they're all the same orbit, they're all the same project with the cypress clown, but look at the variety you can get by putting leopard and spotlights yeah. in the mix. So insane, man. Look at the orange on that. And the crazy thing is, man, these all came <laughs> from your babies that okay. I got from you a couple so, years back. Okay, so the female Batman you made you made yourself. I made off of a made. leopard head clown that I got from you three years ago. Then you grew her up. Yeah. And then you got the fire cypress clown. It's amazing how these things build year Dude. after year after year. And that's the thing is, is you make a single investment in an animal and people think, oh, well, what am I going to do the first year with it? Like, Dude, you have 10 years of stuff to do with it. Exactly. Don't get hung up on what you can or can't do in one year, you know? there's These things just keep... Keep and now, you know, being being in the game for just, you know, a couple of years now, I've really seen, you know, like having the patience to make some of these things. It's so freaking like important because before I would get so free, like anxious and I just want to do something right away. And then usually it doesn't turn out to be what you really wanted. But now, yeah, work, yeah, or the yeah. odds don't work with you. But now that you see other people hatching stuff and, you know, okay, didn't turn out that good. Let me try a different way and stuff like that. So it's shelving these girls out. And then towards the end, Getting a mail last minute, like I do all the time, it definitely you know helps out. Cause then, you know, you make this little guy right here, the Cheetah Batman. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, you just gave it a name. <laughs> right. This thing's so cool. freaking beautiful. What would you add to this? What do you think? Yellow belly would be good, right? Yellow belly would be crazy with that. Um, honestly, based on what we've just seen from it, add the special in there now. Oh yeah. Right. Or or go crazier pattern with the hurricane or one of these other you know crazy patterns. Um, adding in there, so just to make it even wilder. But yeah. What an incredible platform! It just keeps giving. Dude, I'm telling you, clowns are the best. Favorite gene. Ooh. So these are these are bamboos, right? Yeah. So let's bring this over here. So we still don't know exactly what these are. Justin has a 
better eye than I do. This is tough though. With bamboo, it really changed the pattern a lot on them. These I, are siblings though, right? Yeah. And these are both holdbacks right here. So this I know is a spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clown. Looks just like the male that I that I bought from you. That's one jean short of Pompeii right yeah. there. Yeah. Just black pastel. That is super cool. And then um, this right here, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? What would you say? Spot nose, yellow belly, red stripe bamboo maybe? Honestly, I think I see red stripe in there pretty clearly on the back of the head. Yeah. Um, but it has a lot of um, hallmarks of the spot nose there along the sides and everything. So... <sighs> Man, you make beautiful snakes sometimes, but you get too far ahead of what we know, and you start to uh, get into speculation mode. But, yeah. Uh, that's where all the fun's at. And then speaking of fun, we were just showing this off. We were talking about making a snake with all this, with the orange just like that. How insane would that be? So most of the viewers probably don't, haven't seen, but on GHIs, randomly, you can get any GHI comic, you can get a red spot, like a bright red spot. It's usually not that big, yeah. but that's the first time I've ever seen it in a clown, where you hit a clown and then the GHI oh, really? and it actually hits. And that spot is, if you could make a, we were just talking about this a little bit ago, if you could make an entire snake that color, game over, man. That's, you, went, you won the internet. Yeah, and I mean, look at these, <laughs> yeah, for real. I mean, look at clowns, man. I mean, every year something new is coming out, something more exciting. I mean, I mean this is just like the beginning of some of the stuff. I mean, dude, I thought I had seen it all. And then when you did the Wookiee, con the clowns, Dude, I was just like, oh my gosh, man. New starting line. Yeah. yeah. But stuff. these are honestly like some very beautiful clowns that I've hatched out, you know. They're going to be staying here. Well, this one's not staying. This one's leaving, but I have one just like that. So we're going to see this pop up in someone else's collection here. Yeah. Soon. Hopefully they don't come out of orange like that because I want to do that first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like... All right, Miguel. So, my, my Padawan, show me, show me what you've learned. Show me something crazy that... It's just a building block for something that's going to blow us away within a couple of years. And, crazy, uh, crazy? Show, show us something that's okay. the future, complete future. So, I'm just going to start off show you the mail real, real quick. Just real, real quick. A glimpse of the mail. Look at this. Dude, this is a superstar right here. Yeah. So right here we have a Sunset Clown. So the got one really, and only, right? The one and only. Yeah. Already breeding, as you can see, you know. He's already doing some work over here. And man, did I get lucky with this clutch that I just hatched, man. I mean, I was trying to, you know, hold these off for a little bit, but I just couldn't even help it no more, man. And look at this. So right here we have a bamboo, I mean, sorry. Right here we have a banana sunset. We have one. Whoa. We got another one that's a little more orange. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep them from moving. Two. Good luck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's come over here. And then we have this banana lesser sunset, and we have a regular sunset. But you want to know the cool thing about all these? That they're a hundred percent het clown. Wow! So you used the, the male you showed us to yes. a female to a banana lesser sunset visual. Wow! And I had four eggs, and this is the only male, and all these three are females. I mean, dude, and I believe these are the only sunsets out there made combo sunsets that are a hundred percent het clown. Insane. Yeah, and I'm really, really excited about so this. So this is future stuff. We got sunset, banana sunset clowns coming. Yes, which I cool. think is going to be. I mean, could you imagine clown in this? You should call it the tropical sunset. That, you make it. Dude, that would be <laughs> sick. That would be sick. But yeah, man, really excited about it, man. I mean, these things came out a little different color looking than my normal sunsets, but I think it could be the clown that's influencing, like maybe the head part of it. Sure. Because usually they don't come out this dark, even from like when they before they shed. I mean, they usually typically come really, really red, like darker red, like this. Wow. You see, but this is not head or anything. They usually, I've never had anything that looks like this. You know, after shed though, I think that's gonna give it a run for the money. The darker it is, you think so? It might translate really well, yeah. Yeah. We'll see, but yeah, man, can't wait. I mean, these things look like little, like gum. I love them. Sneak peek what's going on at AEP and some of the cool stuff he has for the future. 
What do you think, man? You excited? Oh, dude, I'm really excited, man. Super, super excited. It just gets better and better. It's it's uh it's something that I get I get really pumped coming over here and seeing what someone else is doing and seeing just that the future is being made all over the country in different places. Yep. There's, there's so much left. So really cool. Thanks for joining. Be sure to follow him. I'll put it in the description below. We're actually going to go and get on um, some ATVs. He has, he's going to try to sell me on one. I think yes. I need one for my property, but I need one experience. See how it's going to be fun. We'll have. get a little footage too. Awesome.